Uh, so I want to make this really quick. Uh, I thought it was a really short chapter. Um, it was really quick for me. Honestly, I don't know how other people felt about it. But uh, Boku no Hero, chapter 180. Awesome. Kind of cool landmark there. 180. Chapter was awesome. Uh, it was a lot of the fighting, which I thought was great. Uh, mainly fight heavy chapter, which makes it a quick chapter though. So like always like when I'm reading a fight heavy chapter, I feel like it, it just goes like really, really fast. And it takes like me like five minutes to read the entire chapter. So I was like, oh, Wow, that was really quick. Um, but I did enjoy the chapter overall. Uh, I just thought it was uh, awesome because uh, Deku wasn't making fun of him like other people in the past had of, you know, making YouTube videos of his crimes and doing this dumb shit. It's like, this is cool, man. Like, it's, it's he respected him in a way. He, he, he thought of him as someone on his level as an equal. Maybe not in the right sense of morality. Maybe he didn't have the right sense of morals and the same morals as Deku, but in the sense that you know, he actually is being serious and he's not a joke. This guy isn't a joke. This isn't someone I can mess around with. I need to be, you know, fully serious. So I thought that was really cool that just the sense of the themes I got out of the chapter and stuff, like that nobody in his life has ever taken him seriously. And the first person to do so is Deku and he's like, you you are one of the strongest opponents. Now, I do doubt that because I thought Chisaki might have been stronger, you know, overhaul and stuff. So I do feel like that's a bit of a contradiction, um, but maybe he might be saying that this is the strongest opponent he's taken on by himself, I guess. Um, that could be what he means because I was like, mm, I, I did feel, I did feel like overhaul was stronger than, uh, than, than this guy. So I, I was very confused on that. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go with it. And seeing him use like all five fingers, like five flicks at once, like I didn't even think of that. And, and, and the fact that he did that, it's like, it's kind of like um, a shotgun burst a little bit. It's like, it's a disperse attack. So it's it's a long range attack and it just disperses. He may not have as much accuracy, but that's like kind of what a shotgun is. It's like, uh, it just, it was so cool. I don't know. I went, I wanted to see him name it like, uh, like some sort of flick attack. Like I know his normal flick does like, woo, but like doing all five is like a shotgun. So I really like that aspect of the chapter. I thought it was great. I thought it was really entertaining, really enjoyed myself when, um, when reading that portion of the chapter. So, uh, just hopefully that continues and hopefully we get more on that, build up more. I don't know, maybe you can do something like a double kick and it's like two, like, to like slices or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just going off on a whim right now. But getting on to that, I guess kicking. Yeah, we can talk about kicking. Sure. Um, kicking was awesome. He was like, yeah, I I can do these long range attacks and stuff, and I may be able to get in close a little bit. But you forgot I have my legs because like the entire fight he never used his legs, and I think Horikoshi was waiting this entire time. He was like, and he just knocks him down. It was so cool because it was like the knockout blow a little bit. Like having like a kick being the knockout blow. I don't think you usually see that in anime, and the fact that we got to see that here was really, really cool. I really enjoyed the fact that he just incorporated shoot style and he's able to use his hands now. Now, granted, this is with these, uh, like, little technology boosts and stuff like that, whatever you call them, support items, um, but that's okay. I mean, uh, you know, in the future, he's gonna be able to develop his powers on his own and maybe using this technology that will teach his body and get his body used to not actually having to always rely on that stuff. It was a great chapter because it seemed like LeBravo is really, you know, invested in um, Gentle and you know the fact that LeBravo really loves him is is really awesome because I feel like this chapter showed that a lot because, you know, no matter what he did, no matter what happened, she still loved him and the fact that she didn't run away or just waited for him really shows she really cares about him and I thought that was awesome that he just, he just, um, he has someone that cares about him in his life and, you know, I think he took that a little bit for granted. He understood LeBravo loved him but he, he realized he just needed somebody in his life that actually cared about him and LeBravo was the first person to do that and now that they're captured something bad's gonna happen they're gonna be separated or something like that but who knows what's gonna happen i mean it, it, it'd be really interesting to, you know see if they do something else with them because you know they didn't really do anything bad well i take that back they did they did try to kill that old man but deku saved him and he said the only reason he did that was to distract deku and he did have the intention to actually attack ua but he didn't actually go through with it so that makes me think twice and just the backstory of Horikoshi it makes me uh it makes me feel less um you know um it makes me feel like he's not actually a really hard villain but just someone for Deku to face and someone to challenge ideals with which was really cool to see and I really enjoyed that someone to clash ideals with Deku and Deku was still able to win he's able to do this on his own and I think it's really cool like no one was there to back him up he did this entire fight on his own for the most part now right there at the end when he got bounced off that was him uh, just uh, gentle trying to run away and that's uh, like I, I thought that was okay because I felt like it took away a little bit from the win so I was a little disappointed with that like that's supposed to be Deku's win but it's okay, it's okay. Because, you know, it was still an interesting fight. Had fun uh, just watching it. And then the um, UA and um, they come in, uh, Ectoplasm and uh, 
the dog instructor. I, I really feel bad because I forgot his name, but they come in and they, you know, I guess they got him and stuff. But it's nice that final panel seeing that they surrendered and stuff and they've given up and stuff. But I think they understand like where Deku's coming from a little bit. Like he was just trying to protect the school and do what he thought was right. And that's the same thing with what um, Gentle's trying to do. He was trying to do something that he thought was right and morally right because he just wanted to prove that he could be something. And, you know, I think this is just part of his morals. And it was a clash of morals, which I really find interesting to see, uh, especially in a shonen manga, because it's usually just, oh, the bad guy wants to rule the world, and oh, it's the shonen hero who tries to stop him. And the fact that this was a clash of ideals, I really thought was awesome. La Bravo was awesome, seeing her, uh, you know, just chant gentle on, and like the fact that the quirk has like sort of a time limit where like the amount of strength you get only lasts for a certain amount of time. And I feel like it maxed out at some point, and then when it hit that like top kind of climax point, it kind of shot down a little bit. But the fact that gentle was able to get Deku off of him, you know, that was impressive. Like Deku had that win, he had him. But I think what Deku did is he saw that, you know, in, a, in, in his moment of weakness, he kind of relaxed for a second. And, you know, I don't think he, he understood that, oh, Gentle can still do you, get out of this. So it, it was all right. I mean, I, I think that was just the fact that Deku felt bad for them and that's okay that's okay you just felt bad for them that's that's not a big deal anyways guys i uh, really enjoyed the chapter it was cool you know deku was the hero kind of and it's cool that you know i think i hope the instructor saw that w because that's going to be really awesome i think for his career and especially the fact that he has his provisional license and he took them down this could really get news around oh this kid deku is a badass so i'm really looking forward to that anyways guys make sure to like comment and click that subscribe button and greatly be appreciated and peace out